I appreciate the support, man. It's it's great. You know, I just want to keep putting out decent content for y'all and just just sharing my travels. That's all it is. Sharing my day to day with everybody. Uh, we we all positive energy and good vibes over here. So I'm gonna head right back here to Sportsman, just cause it's right here. I would like to find a place that's a little bit cheaper. Chicken fried rice and a bottle of water, they're charging 269 baht. That's high. Like when I go to Pattaya, I can get a container of chicken fried rice from Kiss Foods for 60 baht. And you go to 7-Eleven and get a bottle of water for seven baht, that's, a, that's like a quarter. So I'm talking two bucks for a meal versus seven, 750 here. Another thing that I'm running into, I'm still waiting on something to arrive here in Bangkok. It was supposed to be here, but it's not. So if it was here, I would already be on my way to Pattaya, but it's not. So I have to wait for it to get here. This is Sukhumvit Soy 13. Is that how they say it? Do they say Soy Sukhumvit 13 or do they say Sukhumvit Soy 13? I don't know. It's quiet. I don't know if it's just this street or if Thailand is just quiet like this right now. I really don't know. I should walk all the way out to the main road and see if there are people walking around there. That would probably give me a little bit better gauge. After I get some grub, I'm probably gonna walk somewhere else and maybe get a beer. It's 10, 10.30 and there's really nobody in here. It was packed in here yesterday. Going back in here and grab what to eat. I got some chicken muscle on here. So. I guess everybody makes it a little different. This one, this one tastes a little bit sweeter than the one in Pattaya. Feel good though. I don't know how they make the curry exactly, but you can tell it's got some coconut. There's peanuts, chicken, big chunks of potato, onion. It's really good. Hey, that whole bowl. <laughs> What's going on, man? Hi. Doing all right? What are we doing? I'm vlogging myself. Okay. <laughs> are you like a reviewer or? Uh, I have a small YouTube channel. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm not technically a reviewer, but I do talk about places that I've gone to eat or food or whatever. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm one of the managers here. So oh, okay. Yeah, you, you want to talk to him? You can talk to him if you want. Yeah, my name's Skip. I'm one of the managers here at Sportsman. What was your name? Okay, Phil. Phil, nice to meet yes, you, Phil. Yes, likewise. So how, how long has Sportsman's been here? Uh, it's been in this location for a little over 10 years. Previously, it was in Soy 22 in Washington Square. Okay. Um, but since moving here, it's just gone very, very well. Yeah, I ate here yesterday, twice. <laughs> okay, what'd you have? I just had the chicken fried rice. That's not bad. Yeah, Thai I ate, food's okay. ate downstairs outside. Uh, in the afternoon and then I came back in the evening and I ate up here. What did you get the second time? Same thing. You know, so I, I tried something a little bit different today. It's still Thai the, food. The yeah, yeah, yeah. We do some really good Western food here. Like oh. the, the fajitas are out of this world. Incredible chili con carne. Okay. Uh, just the buffalo wings are getting good reviews at the moment. So some of our Western food is very, very good. Okay. Um, I usually eat here myself, but, so I might be biased. Yeah. I noticed uh, yesterday there was a gentleman that looked like he was giving salsa lessons uh, or Tuesday yes so Tuesdays and Thursdays we have a guy called Jamal and he does salsa lessons and then every first and third Friday of the month there's a big salsa dance party here the first week they had 113 people wow and then Wednesday nights there's a live comedy show um, there's always something going on here okay and then sport wise we show everything yeah, yeah. literally everything so, someone downstairs is watching handball right now handball they wanted it, we put it on. Yeah, yeah. Now, you got NFL playoffs, but yeah. they start at 3 in the morning. We but should. you guys close, right? For the big NFL games, we usually find a way to open and show them. Either okay. stay open late or close and open very early. Oh, okay. So we often find a way to show all the NFL. Okay. Yeah, that game starts, the first game starts at 3 in the morning, I think. So that's possibly one that we will just manage to stay open for. Okay. And then I think the second one starts at 6.30. Yeah, 6.30 is not a problem. We can open early for that one. Right, right. I might check back with y'all because I, I probably want to watch them games, so I'll see yeah, come if in. you guys are going to be open or whatever. If you make it, yeah. I'll make sure you get some of the, the Western food. Yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't live with Thai food forever. Yeah, true, true. But I, it's my first day back, so I I, uh, I figured I'd American. Yeah, Virginia. Virginia. Okay. Uh-huh. 
Who's the gin? What, what team? Who's your team? Football wise, yeah, yeah. I don't really have. I don't really have one. I just like to watch a good game. That's all. Honestly, I don't really watch football until the playoffs start. So I've adopted the Dolphins. It's my first season following NFL. Yeah. And we have quite an exciting run and just three points shy. Of yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully better next season. Yeah. Okay. All right, Phil. I'll let you get back to your food. Thank you, sir. Feel, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. And again, I'm sorry. I'm hor I'm the same. I'm horrible with them. Yeah. Skip. Nice Good to meet you. Meet you. Likewise. Enjoy your food. All yeah, right, you man. Can give me a shout. Yes, sir. I just left Sportsman. Had some chicken masamon. I'm gonna walk up here to Nana Four now. I can never remember the name of that bar. I think it's called Kicking Donkey. Actually, I think Kicking Donkey is the first bar in the row of three. The one that I like to go to is on the other end, but I think all three bars are owned by the same person. But uh, I'm just gonna walk up here and have a beer and then come back to the room. Probably edit some more video tonight. But uh, I just passed this place here, Breakers. I didn't even pay it any attention when I walked over here yesterday. But it's another pool hall. They've got a bar, so you can, you can have some drinks in there also. I like that about Bangkok. There's quite a few places to go and shoot some pool, have a drink, and just chill out in the evening. This is the cool thing about Bangkok also. I'm not worried at all about somebody trying to snatch my camera or anything like that. If you were in Mexico, you'd have to worry about that just a little bit. But here, I don't, I don't ever feel unsafe. All right, I'm gonna get over here to Nana. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. What's going on, friends? Here in Nana 4, Nana Plaza that way. Basically standing in this little parking lot. Iva Styles. That's where I usually stay. But uh, they were extremely high. I think they, they usually want between 30 and 40 bucks a night. And when I looked, they wanted about 90 bucks a night. So I booked somewhere else. These three bars right here, you got Champs, Bang Cockney Pub, and Kicking Donkey. Because the hotel is right here, I, would, I used to come over here and grab a beer, shoot a couple racks of pool. There was a girl that worked at Kicking Donkey. Cutie, real short, petite but she was real good at pool. So I'd come and have a beer or a Jack Coke, shoot a little bit. If she beat me a couple games, which she usually would, I'd buy her a drink. And that's it. It doesn't always have to lead where you think it's going to lead. A lot of people think, oh, that's the only reason why you're going to Thailand. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I, I do partake in the festivities, <laughs> but it's not, it's not always like that. Like right now, I'm just chilling. I'm trying to decide which one of these three looks the most fun right now. I might go over here to Bangkok. Because there's, there's only a couple, there's like two people in Kicking Donkey and there's two people in Champs. They look like they're kind of playing with each other. I did, I did see one mosquito just a minute ago. Tried to bite me. That's the first one of them little weasels. I can't stand mosquitoes, man. They eat me alive in the States. Before my first trip to Thailand, I did some research and I seen, uh, they said something about the mosquitoes are pretty bad and dengue fever. I think that's how you pronounce it. Which they say is, can, be, can be pretty bad. But I didn't get a shot for it or anything like that because the more I read, the more I seen that basically it's only if you go kind of like into the jungle <laughs> that you have to worry about that. So because I'm pretty much in the city, I, I wasn't worried about it too bad. The only time that they really attacked me is when I went to Koh Tao. Other than that, they usually don't bother me. Here, which is weird, because I thought that they would eat me alive. Weather-wise, it's nice out. Humidity is almost non-existent, to be honest about it. For, for Bangkok standards, it's not humid at all. So that's pretty good. Usually it's that you're baking. It takes, your body will acclimate to it and when you first step outside the hotel, it's like, okay, this ain't that bad, but then you walk around for 10 or 15 minutes and it's like, okay, it's blazing hot out here. All right, y'all, I'm going go here and get a beer. Let's see how garbage I am today on this table. Little bit. 
Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you know it. I like one shot. I like one shot. Better than two shots. How y'all play that? No matter, right? That's no foul, right? Right, right. Good. I like it. Yeah, they play right. So she shot her, she shot. She hit her ball first, but pocketed one of my balls. That was not considered a foul. As far as I know, that's the right way to play, but sometimes you'll go to other pool halls or other bars and if you pocket your opponent's ball, even, even after you strike your ball first, they consider that a foul. Oi. Wow. Now that's a foul. I'm gonna put it right there. What? <laughs> that was a hell of a shot I just made on that eight. <laughs> I think I got right in the way of the camera though. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Say hello. Hello. What's your name? คนชัวร์อะไรชื่อสายค่ะสายสายฟิลฟิลฟิลฟิลไนท์มีดีอยู่ไอ้โอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยอ I don't know if you guys have noticed right now, but so I just told her to get a drink that I would pay for it. So that's usually that's usually what I do if. If, if I walk into a bar and a girl immediately asks me for a drink, I'm not buying. If I'm in, in the bar for a little bit and then they approach me and that's kind of the first thing that they're doing is trying to get me to buy them a drink, I'm not doing it. She asked me if I wanted to play pool. She didn't ask for anything. You know, the whole time that we're shooting, she's, this is our fourth game that we're playing. She hasn't asked me for anything. She's been a good sport. She's been kind. She let me put the mic on her. Etc. When girls act like that, I buy them a drink. It's not a big deal, you know. Her lady drink is probably a hundred and let's see. She just put the bin here. She just put the check bin here. So there you go. Her lady drink is two hundred baht. That's right at six dollars. You know, it's not it's not a big deal. She'll make a little bit of a commission off of that. That's kind of my way of saying thank you for shooting pool with me and being a good sport. It's a thousand baht note. US, that's about 30 bucks. So my tab is 330 baht. Thank you. Jodi ka. Jodi ka. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 